of women. And the fact is, is that our government, the same government that occurred that somehow participated in election fraud, has defunded women's groups, defunded anybody who actually criticizes them. Shame on that. That is anti-democratic. That includes women's, women's groups specifically. Okay? And so the emancipation of women is not there yet because of that. Now, I'd like Lynn Adamson to speak. Hi, everyone. Good to see you out today, and it's good to be with you. I'm representing Canadian Voice of Women for Peace, a cross-country organization been working for peace and justice since 1960. And we've never needed it more than we need it today. We have to act for the kind of future that we want for our children. They're going to inherit what we do or what we don't do today. So we must stand up for honest government, a government we have elected, because without that we won't get the government we need for peace and justice. We won't get the government that will deal with the climate change emergency, that will build our communities, not destroy them, that will encourage people to be involved in society and not discourage them and disenfranchise them. We cannot stand for that. So well, as women, as men, as young people, as older people, all of us need to stand together until this is resolved. We cannot let this go. So, so let's make this a democracy we can be proud of and let's make this a future that is good for all of us whatever gender, and for all of our children, and for the whole planet. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. There's a saying, speak the truth even if your voice shakes, no matter what.